Good evening and thanks for joining us. The day has finally come. After months of planning and development, the Terre Haute Casino is open. News since Ben Brabanek attended the grand opening today. He joins us now live at the casino to explain the energy around today's event. Hey, Ben. Patrice, Rondrell, when I was here at 10 a.m., the parking lot was packed. It is now 6 p.m. and the parking lot is packed. This nearly $300 million facility was jam-packed with people all morning who were excited to get in and see what this property has to offer. And when I was here this morning, the people in line were already partying before the doors even opened. Is excited? Yeah! Oh, yes! Come to Terra Hall! <laughs> what do you have to do first? At 10 o'clock this morning, casino management and local government leaders got together to open the casino. Casino management reflected on the long process, and Terre Haute Mayor Brandon Sackbun spoke about what this means for Terre Haute. We are at a ribbon cutting for a brand new casino here in Terre Haute, Indiana. We welcome visitors from across the Midwest, the nation, and the world here to Terradice, and we have another addition to our tourist economy. <laughs> Local leaders were not the only ones excited for the big opening. Thousands of people waited in line for their chance to get inside and check out the new space. For the people in line, this was one big party. More than a yes. Got my card. We're ready to go. Let's do this. We are. We are I here. Wait. What's the first thing you're gonna do? We yeah. in. We yeah. in. All the way from Indianapolis. Guests came with full pockets and great attitudes. My wife's at work, so I'll get away with it. By 11.30 a.m., the casino had reported that over 2,000 people had already entered the property. This was evident by the state of the parking lot, as drivers were fighting for every spot they could get, with some even parking out on the street. It's awesome to see this many people excited in Terre Haute. This facility is going to be a huge draw to people in the area. Reporting live from Terre Haute, Ben Verbanek, News 10. My goodness. Mm. Kevin Orpert is looking ahead to our evening.